أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإذ نجيناكم من آل فرعون يسومونكم سوء العذاب يذبحون يذبحون أبناءكم ويستحيون نساءكم وفي ذلك بلاء من ربكم عظيم وإذ فرقنا بكم البحر فأنجيناكم وأغرقنا آل فرعون وأنتم وأنتم تنظرون وإذ وعدنا موسى أربعين ليلة ثم اتخذتم العجل من بعده من بعده وأنتم ظالمون ثم عفونا عنكم من بعد ذلك لعلكم تشكرون وإذ آتينا موسى الكتاب والفرقان لعلكم تهتدون وإذ قال موسى لقومه يا قوم إنكم ظلمتم أنفسكم أنفسكم باتخاذكم العجل فتوبوا إلى باريكم إلى بارئكم فاقتلوا أنفسكم ذلكم خير لكم عند بارئكم فتاب عليكم إنه هو التواب الرحيم وإذ قلتم يا موسى لن نؤمن لك حتى نرى الله جهرة فأخذتكم فأخذتكم الصاعقة وأنتم تنظرون ثم بعثناكم من بعد موتكم لعلكم تشكرون صدق الله مولانا العظيم وبلغنا رسوله النبي الكريم ونحن على ذلك من الشاهدين والشاكرين والحمد لله رب العالمين الله سبحانه وتعالى سيد وإذ نجيناكم من آل فرعون Remember the time when we emancipated you, when you admitted you, delivered you, released you, extricated you from the people of Pharaoh. Yesu Munakum who were who would inflicting the dreadful torment on you. Yuzadbihun Abna Akum and they would slay or slaughter your male babies or yastahyun anisa akum and would let the female babies live wa fi zalikum bala umdir rabbikum azim and there was a great ordeal in this from your lord wa iz salakna bikum ul bahra fa anzaynakum and remember the time when we parted the sea for you 
anjainakum and we rescued you and we saved you wa adrakna ala fir'aun and we drowned the people of pharaoh wa antum tanzurun in your very eyes when you were looking at this that's that scene wa iz wa'adna musa 40 layla and remember the time when we made an appointment with moses may grace and peace of allah be upon him for 40 nights summa takhastum al-ilm min ba'dihi wa antum zalimun and then in his absence you took the calf worship wa antum zalimun and you were transgressor you were wrong doer and you were tyrants you were you are exceeding the limits sum afona ankum min ba'd zalik and then i pardoned you after that even la'allakum tashkuru so that you might be thankful wa id afaina musa al-kitab wa al-furqan and remember the time when we bestowed the book and the differentiation or the miracles on upon moses when we granted the book and the miracles and differentiation between right and wrong to moses may grace and peace of allah be upon him la'allakum tahtadun so that you might be guided aright wa iz qala musa liqaumihi ya qaum and remember the time when moses said to his community Oh my community oh my father innakum zalamtum anfusakum bi ittikhazikum al-ijla you have transgressed you have done wrong you have wronged yourself bi ittikhazikum al-ijla because you took the calf worship you took the calf for your lord and you began to worship it فَتُوبُوا إِلَى بَارِئِكُمْ So show the penitence in front of your Creator and فَقْتُلُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ and slay yourself yourselves means the persons who have committed the paganism and idolatry idolatry uh, by worshipping the calf they should be slaughtered they should be killed by the other people who did not participate in this activity zalikum khairun lakum in the barikum this is much better for you in the opinion of your creator fataba alaykum so he accepted the penitence of yours innahu huwa at-tawwabur rahim because he is relenting very relenting and very merciful وَإِذْ قُلْتُمْ يَا مُوسَى لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى أَرَى اللَّهَ جَهْرًا and remember the time when you said to Moses O oh, Moses may grace and peace of Allah be upon him لَنْ نُؤْمِنَ لَكَ حَتَّى أَرَى اللَّهَ we are not going to believe you until we see Allah with our own eyes or we see Allah in broad delight quite openly and barely اخذتكم الصاعقه ذن اي ثندر بولت ستراك يو وانتم تنظرون اند يو ار واتشنج ذا سين من ان يور فيري ايز يو ار لوكينج ات ات ثم بعثناكم من بعد موتكم ذن وي ريزركتد يو ذن وي ريفايفد يو ذن وي ريستور يور لايف تو يور بوديز لعلكم تشكرون so so that you might be guided that you, you must be uh, thankful so this is the verbal translation along with the idiomatic translation of the passage i recited before you may allah enable me to explain the meanings and semantics and the ups and downs of this passage according to the player of my lord here quran says وَإِذْ نَجَّيْنَاكُمْ مِنْ آلِ فِرْعَوْنَ يَسُومُونَكُمْ سُوءَ الْعَذَابِ So the at the sea were the Jews of Madinah Tayyibah Bani Qainuqa 
Bani Nazir and Banu Quraiza. Now these people were not participants of those people who were in front of Moses with grace and peace of Allah but they were the descendants of those very people therefore they were also taken for the responsible all of the activities uh, attempted by their forefather. It means that goods are bad, faults and are virtues. All of them are inherited by the following people unless they they made the penitence in front of Allah. Here Quran says these are the events which were well known to all and sundry among the Jews. Here Quran says, so it is not a hidden fact, it is not unknown fact. You already know it very well that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obliged you with many ways and He granted many bounties on you. He bestowed uh, you. Uh, he, he bestowed many uh, many bounties and many blessings and many favors upon you but even then you did not you did not pay any thank to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as you are accustomed to ingratitude and you are ungrateful by nature therefore it is not curious from you that you are not thankful to me because all of the particulars concerning with myself my identification and all of the attributes, qualifications, characteristics and the details concerning with me were, were mentioned and elucidated by, uh, by the Gospel, by, by, by the Pentateuchs, by the Old Testament, the New Testament, uh, by your books. Even then you are not thankful to your Lord who has provided you with all of the instructions to identify me with. It was a matter of thanks. You should have been thankful to my Lord, but as you did not pay any thank to Moses, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him. So it is not a new thing for you, but this can be precedented in your previous life. You are forefather have been attempting the ingratitude and unthankfulness as your forefathers and your ancestors were unthankful, you are also unthankful in front of me. Here one should know the background of these events. When the Israelites, Israelites degenerated after the death of Joseph, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him, they were enslaved by the Copts, which are called Kibthis in Arabic. They are called Copts in, in English. They were enslaved. They were made slave in, uh, by the, by the Copts. And after a long time, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to emancipate them, to release them from the slavery of the people of Far is caught. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Moses with grace and peace of Allah be upon him. And Harun alayhi salatu wasalam, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him, was elder brother and he was also a prophet. But Moses may grace and peace of Allah be upon him is on the third stage in the totality of the prophets. All of the prophets were classified by different dialectical dialectical theologians and they put on the on the first say Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He is superior to everybody and his supremacy to the prophets is admitted one in Islam. And the second stage was occupied by Abraham Migration and peace of Allah be upon him. And the third stage is, was uh, occupied by Hazrat Moses the grace and peace of Allah be upon him. So he is uh, one of the highly dignified Rasuls, Ulul Azm. They are called Ulul Azm. This is Islamic terminology. They are very superior to all of the Prophets. The Prophets are superior to public and the, these three persons one after another 
up to third stage are superior to all of the prophets. Then it was duty of Moses, with grace and peace of Allah be upon him to emancipate them and to benefit them. Since such a slavery cannot be broken, cannot be abolished, but by the persons who are properly uh, properly suggested and properly sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that slavery was of centuries and it was not possible for anyone to cancel or to abolish that slavery. This, this slavery of Egyptian Israelites were very stagnant, very strong. It was not going to be broken, but Moses the grace and peace of Allah be upon him. This very powerful prophet, he slapped on the face of uh, the, the angel of death and he evacuated uh, his, his eye. He was very powerful and he was detailed and uh, deputed uh, on behalf of Allah to emancipate the Israelites. So after a long struggle, he assembled all of the Israelites and at the time of leaving Egypt for Palestine, according to Islamic record, there were 600,000 and according to the Israelites record, as was mentioned in our books, that they were uh, there were two million people. But this this was a great uh, this was a great enterprise. It could not have been uh, managed by anybody else. It was capacity of Moses, the grace and peace of Allah, that He determined to emancipate His community from Pharaoh. And once upon a time, He held the meeting and decided that they would leave Egypt for Palestine during the night and accordingly they acted upon the decision when all of the Israelites collectively was very near to the to, to the sea Red Sea and they, they saw behind them there was a cloud of dust and they estimated that there must be an army of Pharaoh chasing them and pursuing them. So it was really uh, the same the same army. Now the Israelites uh, in the company of Moses the grace and peace of Allah be upon him were, were afraid of that army and he was expecting that they are they were more likely to be killed. At that time they cried out, Oh, oh Moses, you are the leader of this program. So it is your duty to save us. So then Moses realized his responsibility and he requested to Allah, Oh my Allah, it is your job, it is your capacity to, to save me and to rescue me from these all of the dangers. Then Moses, may grace and peace of Allah, was ordered by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to beat the sea with the club. When he struck the Red Sea with his, with, his, with his stick, with his club, it was separated into 12 different pieces because Moses had requested Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Israelites were 12 tribes and they would not agree to pass uh, by the same way. Therefore, different types and different uh, of different qualities ways should be made in, in the sea. So, 12 uh, ways were made in the water to, for them to pass through. Then uh, there was a mud, but by means of miracle of Moses, the grace and peace of Allah, the sea was split as well, uh, parted as well, and it was dried as well. And they began to march uh, through those ways which were made by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through miracle of Moses the grace and peace of Allah be upon him. But before beating the before beating the sea, our Muslim commentator says that Nabi Karim Islam, being a last and final prophet, was leader and imam of all of the prophets. Therefore Allah asked him to, to say Salah. 
to say Allah Musalli ala Muhammadin wa ala Ali Muhammadin. So then after reading the Salat, Moses may grace and peace of Allah be upon him, parted the reed, parted the sea with the stick or with the club. So that was really indirectly the miracle of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Some of the Muslim scholars are of the opinion that Moses was asked to recite Subhanallah wa alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa la akbar wa la hawla wa la kumura illa billahi al azim means the third kalima which is mostly recited at the time of marriage that was asked by, uh, by Mo Moses. Moses was asked to, rec to recite this kalima sharif. So by virtue of this kalima sharif the sea was parted into twelve parts. And some of the Muslim scholars are of the view, of the view that uh, it was the word of Ya Khayyo Ya Khayyo. These two words are believed to be Ismi Azam, to be the supreme name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala according to Qadiriyya. And according to Sheikh Alauddin uh, Samnani Rahmatullah Zalala, it is a permanent uh, permanent wazifa of Hazrat Khidr alayhi salatu wa salam. Since Khidr is the ruler of the water, therefore this kalima was recited by Moses, the grace and peace of Allah be upon him to, to split the sea. Anyhow, the sea was parted and the mud was dried and the walking and marching in the bed of the sea was facilitated by means of miracle of Moses, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him. And after that, since the army of Pharaoh was chasing them up, they also pursued them and they were in the bed of the sea. As soon as Israelites reached in the uh, Sinai Peninsula, uh, which is a part of Egypt but now is occupied by the Israelites that they, when they received when they uh, reached there the uh, the sea was filled up and all of the ways were abolished and all of the army of Pharaoh along with Pharaoh himself all of them were drowned in the water and this scene was watched and looked at by the total Israelites so they were convinced that Moses, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him, was a real and genuine prophet of Allah because this was a miracle which uh, was completely uh, conclusive, conclusive and expressive. There was no any chance of any other interpretation. It was not on account of the weather or season, but this was on account of the miracle of Moses, may grace and peace of Allah be upon him. So it means that the prophets are in position, if they order the ocean, the ocean can be parted and all of <coughs> the powers after Allah are possessed by the prophets according to their capacities. And Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa may grace and peace of Allah be upon him is supreme and chief of the total prophets. There were all of the powers and qualities and miracles and abnormals and superhumans found with other prophets are possessed by Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And Imam Qustalani Ramatullah says that no miracle was granted to any prophet but it was granted by Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa as the tradition of Bukhari Shiv says that Wallahu yothi wa inna ma ana qasimun uh, The giving person is Allah but distribution is my job. I distribute all of the qualities among the total creature. Allah gives everything and I distribute everything. Allah the Father of Biradi Rahmatullah says La wa rabbil arj jisko jo mila unse mila Badsi hai konein mein neymat rasulullah ki no miracle, no quantity, no attributes were given, was given to any prophet but by virtue of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When Moses 
reach there, uh, they, uh, they, they were duty bound to obey, to obey the order of Moses be grace and peace of Allah be upon it. But their disobedience were mentioned in the following lines. Quran says that this was their nature, that they were not obedient and not thankful even if they were offspring of the Prophet, but it was that this fault was found with them by nature that they were not thankful when they were emancipated, manumitted after centuries and centuries by Moses and Moses may grace and peace of Allah be upon him. They should have been very thankful to him, but instead they did not pay any thank to him, but they dis disobeyed him. Quran may, makes them realize the bounties granted to them by virtue of Moses, even then they were unthankful to him. So as they were unthankful to him, they are unthankful to Muhammad Rasulullah as well. Quran says, Wa izna jayla kum min ali fir'auna yusu moon kum su azab. Remember the time when we, when we emancipated you, when we delivered you, released you, extricated you from the family, from the people of Pharaoh uh, who were imposing the worst punishment, chastisement. They were inflicting the dreadful torments on you, Yuzabihuna Abna Akum. So, this is a, a decision of uh, the, the kingdom and the rule of Pharaoh that once upon a time, Pharaoh had a dream that a person was going to topple his, his kingdom and that was born to the Israelites. So when he called up all of the interpreters to his court and he consulted them, all of them interpreted that there would be a person who would topple uh, your, your kingdom, but you should try to, uh, to control the birth of Israelites. And that person, as you saw in the dream, that person would be from the, uh, from the family of the Israelites. Therefore, they should be checked and they should be scrutinized and their pregnancies should be properly controlled. If a male member is born to them, that should be slaughtered. So, infanticide was started at that time. And in those very, in those very days, Moses was born to Yohannes. Uh, the name of mother of Moses, according to Islamic record, uh, was Yohannes. When uh, his mother was pregnant and he was about to deliver a, a baby, so when the, uh, the nurse came there to check and before her arrival, Moses was born to his mother and according to the order of, according to the revelation of Allah, he was thrown in the, in the oven when it was burning. But when uh, this inspiration was made to her, so he, she was very afraid, but since it was on behalf of God, Therefore, she was satisfied that he would not be burned. So, when the nurse came here and she checked, uh, checked her, she thought she thought that it cannot be killed. If he, he was, if he were killed, that there was certain sign of his killing as well. So she went there. According to certain Muslim commentators, she was impressed very much, and she tried to help. The mother of Moses, the grace and peace of Allah be upon him. One of these two uh, narratives, uh, these traditions, anyone can be chosen for, for the decision, whatever the circumstances might have been. But uh, according to the advice of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, she, uh, she was asked to put the new baby in a box and put it into, into the river of Nile. So here, uh, the Muslim commentators say that Gabriel was to bring down the box wherein Moses was put and he was thrown in, in the river. And uh, after floating a, a long distance, 
he was caught by the members by the crews of Pharaoh and he was uh, put uh, in the palace of Pharaoh and he began to be brought up but this was a, a, a silent announcement that O oh Pharaoh you are trying to kill a person whom I want to give the power so if you try to kill that person it is uh, it is according to my dignity to put him in your house and bring him up according to uh, on your expenditure and you will have to pay all of the expenditures and you will have to look after him and you will have to manage his education and you will have to open the doors of your colleges your universities which are open only for the royal family so the person who is being tied to be deprived of the facilities would be provided with the facilities by me and you will have to look after him after the last after the last breath of your life and that box was was inherited by by the israelites quran says when there was a quarrel over the over the caliph or king talut talut was going to uh, to be appointed as a caliph as an imam when the david was also in that very army and according to one tradition his skill was also prophet so it means that it is not necessary for for the caliph to be superior sometimes superior is there but some other persons is chosen as a caliph or as an imam so therefore this principle cannot be uh, cannot be confirmed cannot be emphasized that it is necessary for the imam to be superior to everybody sometimes inferior and junior junior to other people can be appointed for uh, as an imam for certain central contrivance so the muslims are of the view that sometimes a an inferior person and a junior person can be appointed for uh, for the country as an imam and as an caliph and that sunduk that box is called ark of covenant ark of covenant is that box which was used as the, at the uh, birthday of moses the grace and peace of allah be upon him and that became a sign of their success and their conquest whenever they took that that box and they asked the favor that favor was never rejected it means that the signs of birthday of the prophets are so blessful that the work which cannot be done by the army by the armaments by the resources of the country can be done and can be culminated by means of the uh, relics of the birthday miladun nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam so we people celebrate the birthday of the holy prophet and people may question that such a things are not useful and not blessful we can trace this fact from the holy quran the box which was used for the birthday of moses the grace and peace of allah became a conquest for all of the israelites who were believing in the dignity of moses the grace and peace of allah be upon him then he was brought up and that reference was also quoted by this verse of the holy quran kanu yuzabihuna yuzabihuna abnaakum wa yastakhiyuna nisaakum so those people were uh, slaughtering the male babies and would let the female babies live means the person who was expected to to topple the kingdom of pharaoh was managed by them therefore they began to slaughter the the male member but the woman was left alive because they were going to be enslaved as a maid slave for the home for the housework for the domestic affairs so this was the background of this event which was mentioned in this verse quran says you were in the worst position before the arrival of moses but when moses came and he obliged you with many ways and he emancipated you and he restored your previous life 
and he he restored the previous dignity and uh, attributes and qualities and eminences which were left down by your forefathers who were the prophets and he dignified you in the society and he raised your status in the human society but yet you were not thankful to him so as you were not thankful to moses you are not thankful to me as well quran says wa fi zalika bala'un mir rabbikum azim and there was a great trial uh, from your lord for you means this was a, a great trial means when the male babies were being slaughtered and female babies were left were left alive that time was very difficult for you because in those days the the girls would grow up and there was no chance for them to to get married to get get married with any persons uh, because all of the male members uh, would would be slaughtered so this type of unbalanced life was a great ordeal for you and moses was the person who emancipated you and manumitted you and delivered you from this worst type of slavery but yet you did not pay any thank to moses may grace and peace of allah be upon him quran says wa in farqna bikum al bahr wa anjaynakum wa aghraqna al firawna wa antum tanzur so this uh, comment was made uh, in in my uh, previous pre- previous uh, uh, chapter quran says you should remember the time when we parted the the sea for you uh, you were to pass through you, you were to pass through that way and that way was used uh, for your help but as soon as pharaoh along with his army stepped in those ways uh, he was downed all of a sudden means your opposition uh, was abolished and now there was a totalitarianism only one party system there was no one except the israelites to rule over egypt and before the sun set up the next day they again entered in egypt and they controlled all of the palaces and offices and resources of the country so this is the way of granting of allah when he likes to give something or to favor someone so it is not difficult for 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 allah subhanahu wa taala so it is it is a duty of muslim to please allah because then he is when he is pleased he can give everything but when he is annoyed he can deprive everyone from everything and no one is there to be bar allah subhanahu wa taala so these examples were uh, exemplified in this chapter just to convince the muslims the the lord which was lord in those days the same is lord in these days no change has taken place in allah and will never take place any change in him forever because he is perpetual and he is permanent and he is everlasting no change can can take place in him so the habits of allah are the same if you pay thanks to allah allah will grant you more and more and if you uh, commit any uh, ingratitude so all unthankfulness so you will be deprived of all of the facilities so this is my lecture of today in english language inshallah uh, on monday i should talk to you again in urdu language inshallah tala may allah accept my uh, my humble submission in his uh, in his court and may allah forgive me and you as well wa ma'alina til al-balagh al-mubin wa akhir da'wana alhamdulillah rabbil alamin الصلاه والسلام على رسول الكريم والحمد لله رب العالمين